Ozzo Bucco with smashed potatoes made with Lego's tomato paste. Start by heating the oil in a large flame-proof heavy base casserole pan over high heat. Cook the beef in batches for about two minutes each side or until browned. Place on a plate. Reduce the heat to medium and heat more oil in the same pan. Add onion and a pinch of salt and cook for about two minutes stirring as you go until the onion softens. Add carrots and celery and stir for about five minutes until the vegetables have softened slightly. Add Lego's tomato paste and stir for another minute or until the tomato paste gets darker in colour. Add stock and canned tomatoes and parsley stems and stir well. And then return the beef to the pan in a single layer. Bring the liquid to a simmer and then reduce the heat to low. Cover the pan and cook for two hours until the beef is very tender and falling off the bone. Meanwhile, preheat the oven to 200 degrees Celsius, grease a baking tray, Place potatoes in a saucepan and cover with cold water. Cover and bring to the boil over a high heat. Uncover the pan and cook the potatoes for 15 to 20 minutes until just tender. Then drain and place the potatoes on the prepared tray and let them cool slightly. Then place a folded clean tea towel on top and gently press down to flatten the potatoes. Drizzle the potatoes with oil and season with salt. Bake for 45 minutes until the potatoes are golden. Use a slotted spoon or some tongs to transfer the beef to a plate. Cover with foil and keep warm. To finish the sauce, increase the heat to medium high and cook for 10 minutes, stirring occasionally until the sauce thickens slightly. Chop some parsley leaves and stir into the sauce. Serve the beef and sauce with smashed potatoes and sprinkle with more parsley leaves. With a rich tomato flavour from Lego's tomato paste, this simple slow cooked beef dish is a warming and hearty family favourite. For more slow cooked recipes, head to our playlist here. And to make sure you don't miss out on any of our videos, click here to subscribe.